Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing as Catholic Mexico. Uh, this is going to be a shorter episode today. I'm aiming at around 45 minutes or so. Uh, maybe a couple minutes more than that, but uh, around there. Uh, which which means that you know that the war is going to start in this episode because it always happens that way. Uh, it always starts at like the end of an episode and then we got to end it on that, that cliffhanger. Uh, but... Unfortunately, I just don't have as much time to, to record today, uh, but uh, I do think that we're going to do pretty well in this conflict uh, simply because, uh, you know, I, I just don't know what the Americans are doing. Uh, I don't think they're prioritizing this border much. Uh, as far as the uh, way our, our border defenses go, I mean, we have two divisions in almost every province. We might want to make some adjustments, uh, but I think they would end up just pulling them, you know, changing them. Like, so let's say, for instance, I wanted to put another division over here to make sure they couldn't take this province and then cut off the five divisions here, which wouldn't be cut off from supply, but they'd be cut off from coming back home unless they did it uh, by sea, which would be risky. Uh, very, very risky. Uh, we also have to worry about our convoys uh, as well, that the American submarines, which don't typically have a lot of submarines, but they'll have enough to cause us some issues here. So we do have to worry about that. Uh, we should probably take a look and see if we have any planes stockpiled that could be utilized for training, and we do. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the naval bombers right here. And we're going to go ahead and just get a wing of 100. Uh, as they, they come out, they'll train. Uh, let's just go ahead and start them training now. Uh, and then do we have these guys training? We do not, so let's go ahead and put them back to training because uh, they did get a few more planes. And that's it. That's all we have. We have four more fighters uh, for the next air wing. So we are putting so many factories towards air wings. Looks like we're not getting, or we weren't getting some of our resources, but it got fixed. And one of our agents was unfortunately captured. Uh, that means we'll be able to do our first thing against the Americans, I suppose. Uh, we haven't really done anything uh, against them yet. Uh, but yeah, we could uh, go ahead and try and get our operative back. Uh, we'll do that first. We could also try and steal some of their technology. Uh, I suppose that's what we want to do next after we get this operative back. Uh, so let's go ahead and get him back first. And we do have to assign an operative. Oh, that's our best guy that got uh, captured as well. well. Let's get the seducer. She's going to seduce somebody into into uh, giving us our operative back. Uh, so we, we should probably move this guy uh, so that... Well, you know what? I guess we have we still have her here. I don't know if that she still builds it up. No, she doesn't. Okay, so let's go ahead and move him. Um, why is he not going? Having some difficulty here. There we go. Maybe I had her selected on accident. I'm not entirely sure. I uh, would just make sure that we continue gaining intel there. It could be really useful to have. Try and get the army intel up as high as possible. Help us out in this conflict against them. Any any advantage we can get, uh, we're gonna want it. Uh, we are starting to get this manpower built up. What I'm going to wait to do is till we get to about 100,000 or so. Uh, just make sure that we have that you know, stockpiled up for the conflict before we build any more troops. Uh, we did get the advanced special forces training, which is excellent. Uh, could go with the next one here to further improve those mountain divisions, but I don't think it's really worth it uh, considering the fact that we don't really have very many mountain divisions. We only have two. Uh, I'll take a look and see if we can't build any more. We'll build them even though we have some shortages there. Uh, we might want to get the heart attack here and the piercing because, remember, we don't have anti-tanks in our units yet. Uh, we could also get the engineer companies for further entrenchment. Uh, I suppose that would be helpful as well. But, you know, what we're going to do is the infantry anti-tanks. Just because we don't have any anti-tanks in our units, so having some type of piercing, I think, is imperative. Uh, now, we don't even know if they have very many tank units or how many tank units they have. I assume that they're going to be light tanks, uh, the majority of what we see the Americans have. But we definitely want to make sure that we uh, uh, have some type of piercing and heart attack. Uh, we can't build any more mountain troops, unfortunately. Uh, we could build... Um, I suppose if we deployed these, we might be able to build them. I suppose we can take a look uh, and see. Uh, let's go and deploy them real quick and see what we got here. Uh, so let's deploy all ten of these. And then these guys are going to be doing the, the coastal defense. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and get them set up for that. And we need to give them an army here. We'll put them in the defensive army uh, for right now. And then have them do the area defense. And any location that has ports. That does not. So we're going to do all along the coast. Even if it doesn't have a port, we'll go ahead and do it. Because, again, we're going to set them to uh, only defend the port. So it really doesn't, doesn't really matter. Alright, so all throughout here. 
and then we're gonna send them up to only guard naval bases they need a total of 17 we have 10 uh, I counted 20 uh, but I did I count that one either way it looks like I, I miscounted uh, not surprising uh, so they'll defend that and then they're going to uh, train while they defend it and then we'll take a look and see if that allows us to build mountain troops it does not unfortunately we are still too short on total division numbers uh, we did finish up our research of the medium tanks and we're gonna go straight on to the next one though maybe it'd be worth it to wait until we're able to get the next uh, tank designer uh, though that could apply for the 1943 tanks as well when do we get that all right so these ones of course require us to be in factions so there's just this guy which is the tank workshops and it only gives you reliability so it's really not worth waiting for I mean, it'll allow you to research them quicker, but yeah, we're not getting that anytime soon. So we'll just go for this one while we are going to go ahead and start building the medium tanks. So we'll get these started here. I won't research all the other stuff for them, like self-propelled artillery and all that good stuff. Uh, we'll just wait uh, on that. Uh, let's go ahead and pull a factory from the support equipment. We're going to pull from the artillery as well, since we're kind of getting stacked on that. And... Uh, Probably put this towards planes, guys. We need more naval bombers. I do not like our naval bomber situation right now. We are short one rubber, but we'll just have to eat that. I'm not really willing to to uh, trade for any right now. Now we need to go take a look at what's going on in Russia. It does look like they're they're losing lots of territory right now. Uh, so we need more narcos to defend the ports. Uh, so I guess we should get these guys. Uh, I think we should get like another ten. Again, a lot of narcos. Um, really gonna rely on those smaller divisions for defense uh, and we could even put them up here on this front here uh, you know so they can help us defend that we, we already have these guys here so we can always throw any extras onto that green army right there uh, we'll go and change up these guys color here you know they could stay that blue I'm fine with that blue we got the advanced computing machine that's that extra research bonus very very nice so what do we want to get next uh, we Obviously, you still need to get those planes. That'd be helpful to have the better planes. We could get the better artillery. Uh, I'm just seeing other options. We should probably get support stuff. So let's get the engineer companies first. Allows us to attack cross rivers easier. Also gives us more entrenchment. Uh, so that'd be helpful. I said I wasn't going to spend the manpower, but it looks like we're getting a pretty good chunk of it uh, from that uh, extra 1% of manpower that we now have from changing our conscription laws. We did get the Aztec Eagles done, which is excellent. Again, research bonuses that we're not going to use yet, but it was a limited time to be able to use that uh, just while we're no longer at war with the Americans. Uh, so let's go and seize the Panama Canal now. This could end up war at, uh, resulting in a conflict. That's another way we could end up forcing this conflict in. Uh, we did finish up the fortifications that we were building, but we are not quite done yet, guys. Uh, we need to get uh, up to level 5. So let's just go ahead and do it this way here. Just get them all up to level 5, and that was where I wanted it, guys. I wanted level 5. Again, we're not going to go any further there because I think we're going to let them in here. Uh, this is where we're going to let them attack. Now, we will need fortifications over here to stop them. Uh, but before we do that, we will need to do a lot of things, so it's fine. We'll just build what we have here, get this done, and then we'll take a look at where we're at at that point. Uh, because we do need more military factories as well, guys. Uh, the number of military factories as of right now is only 20. Uh, so that is not a lot of military factories. We're really limiting our ability to get all the equipment we need. What is the new ship here that they're alerting us of? I'm not entirely sure what that is, but uh, we do have a free military factory. Uh, so let's go ahead and get assigned. Maybe compliance got us, a, got us one, I would assume. Yeah, maybe. Uh, so let's go and get this assigned to, we could improve our infantry equipment. That would be helpful. Uh, let me see what else we might want to do uh, before we do that, though. Uh, we only have one towards the motorized, so we can't pull from that. I suppose we could start going into the close air support, uh, trying to get more of that. I feel like we need more fighters, though, so that's what we'll go towards. We are starting to run a little bit you know, low on rubber now. We're short two, so we could go and trade for one more. No, there's nobody to trade with. I guess we'll just trade with the Brazilians, and we're going to get uh, a little bit ripped off. Not get quite as many, uh, quite as much rubber as we should. Should be getting eight per factory, but they uh, don't have enough for us. Uh, it did get better when they joined our faction. If you recall, I think we were getting five rubber for a factory before. Now we're getting seven. Uh, so it's just uh, a lack of rubber in uh, Brazil right now. Uh, just not enough to, uh, to trade for. Uh, so, let me see. If we deployed these guys, 
would we be able to get a mountain troop? Let's take a look. Uh, well, we can't deploy them yet because they have to be at 20%, I think. I think it's 20% to deploy. Yeah. So we need to get a little bit higher. We'll deploy them and see if that allows us to get a mountain troop. Hopefully it does. Yes. All right. So let's go get one more mountain troop. Uh, did we finish designing these? Uh, we still need one more support company, uh, which we might do like anti-tanks or something like that here. Uh, we still need to get anti-tanks and anti-air and air units. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to design a whole new company, guys, and then change them over to that. And we need some damn army experience to do that. Uh, we could just change the Jaguar Warriors up, but we'd then have to pull the infantry off, pull one of the infantry back, and then put anti-tank and anti-air, because I'm not putting them here. Uh, so in order to do that, first of all, let's see here. Yeah, I guess we can put them with the artillery. In order to do that, we would uh, need 10 experience, which we don't have. Uh, but this is going to result in like a ton of anti-tanks and anti-air that we don't have uh, at all. So it will re result in our, our units being stronger, uh, weaker for a period. And I don't think that would be good. Uh, so I, I think we should just wait. I'm going to take these units, put them over. Oh, no, no, no. That's right. We're putting them into this army and then pulling a couple out because, again, we don't actually need that many. Uh, I think it said we needed 17, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 17. So we're going to take three of the divisions out and put them into this army here. And that will result in us needing to train those three up. So yeah, we'll have a few more divisions there. Kind of help us out. Uh, I almost want to go ahead and extend this since I'm not ready for them to, to push there. Uh, and you'll see that the Americans are now on the borders. So yeah, if we went to war, we'd likely... Uh, Unfortunately, probably lose some territory now. All right, well, that's fine. I almost want to go ahead and build up the forts up along here as well. We're planning on retreating here, but you know what? Let's go ahead and get just like level two forts in this area. One thing we could also potentially do is make it so this here is a cutoff point. Let them take that, and then you can cut them off right there. Yeah, that would probably be the best way to do that. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We can only attack from two provinces, though, where in the other areas, you know, I guess here, this one, you could also only attack from two provinces. Uh, so that's something to consider. But here, there would be a lot more provinces we could attack from. Uh, but in this one, it's also two. So, you know, if you're attacking right there, it's actually only one. So that's a terrible spot to do that plan I was talking about. So this is not a bad spot. So we will not build fortifications right there. We'll just build them up along here for right now. And that'll be, like, the province that we give up once we start our conflict with them. Uh, we did get the support weapons for. Um, we could get the next infantry equipment to start getting that built. It does cost more though. Uh, it's probably better to get uh, passive bonuses at this point. Uh, yeah, I think we should really focus on the, the passive bonuses. Uh, so probably more support equipment, uh, or excuse me, support un units, uh, or the artillery, the better guns, but that's gotta be built too, so that's not really a passive bonus. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do, guys. Um, we do have research bonuses, that we just got from that American focus. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get more support companies, guys. Uh, so we're gonna want the uh, Field Hospital 3 first. All right. So we're doing the Panama Canal focus. It's only 35 days. So it doesn't take very long. We'll have it in 10 days, and then we'll have to see what happens. Uh, if they, hmm, okay. Uh, I thought this said something about blowing up. I was like, if the United States blows this up, we won't be able to do it. Uh, they don't typically blow it up. Uh, but you never know when you're in a position like this. I don't know when the AI decides to blow up uh, the canals. I've seen them do it before, though. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure like what you know makes them make that decision. The Zoot Suit Riots. Hispanic youths wearing extravagant clothes, which are the Zoot Suits, have been the target of racialized riots in border cities to our north, stemming from sensationalized reporting over the death of a teen teenager in Los Angeles. Nine Mexican-American youths have been convicted for murder over the incident. American intelligence agents have complied reports stating the Zoot suitors are in fact fascist agents, collaborating with ultra-Catholic uh, synarchistas in Mexico in order to assist in a Japanese German invasion of the Americas. So this would move us from powerful church to assertive church, move us back down, or we can do they're just children, this is and injustice, uh, and this would gain us stability, uh, but take away our our war support, which I think is a, a good trade. And this is the exact opposite. 
and plus you you lose uh, some of the points on your powerful church and that gives more stability if you go to assertive church that gives more stability uh, and then we'd have the loss of those civilian factories which I think is only one or two civilian factories we'd lose uh, I think we'll do this one though and just get that uh, stability ticked up I know it's, it's not much it's 1% uh, it doesn't really have much of a fact uh, but yeah we'll do that piss the Americans off more they're just children damn it and uh, we see our opinion further decreasing with them. Uh, so we have finished up that focus. That'll open up that decision. Um, I, I really wanted to change our laws here, though. Uh, let's see how, how expensive this decision is. Well, actually, first, I was going to pick a focus, but let's uh, let's see what this is exactly. Now, remember, we have the Execute the Coastal Defense Plan. That is the division attack and defense on court territory, which you know we're not going to want to do that. Uh, so we have the Operation Just Cause. It's only 25 political power. We'll annex it automatically. Roll tension is increased. And it doesn't look like it's going to impact. Uh, it's not going to result in them going to war. Uh, just that border war. Okay, let's let's do this. And see how this ends up going down. Alright, so they ended up creating some armies here for us. That's what it seems like. Alright, so I think we are going to win this now, but it looks like it's it's whoever on is on this side of the situation. That's the way it seems. Uh, but again, they do have these special units here. Uh, so it looks like we're going to win it because they don't have any troops here, uh, basically. We won't assign them because I, I don't know if we're going to lose them. And they pulled one of the divisions out. That is weird. I don't know why that happened. Uh, but whatever, it looks like we, we have succeeded, so it doesn't matter. American-American border clashes. All right. Uh, Operation Just Cause succeeds. Uh, that's going to get us uh, some war support and some army experience. Well, that's helpful. We need army experience. Uh, so do we keep these troops? It seems like we keep them. Yeah, we'll wait and see if they take them back before we do anything with them. Uh, so we can blow the Panama Canal, which we don't want to do that because I don't plan on losing it. We will need one more division to protect that province in the uh, in our defensive army. So I'm just trying to find this. Here we go. So we need to take uh, one of the, the troops that I put over here and put him into this. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. They pulled. I see what happened. They pulled these guys out of here. Got it. Uh, though this division here was actually in the Red Army. I see. Uh, where's the other division? It's probably not in an army. There we go. All right. I see what happened there. All right. So uh, we've got that dealt with. I thought those were new troops, uh, but they just pulled divisions out of them, out of one of our armies. That was different than I've seen past border conflicts go. A little bit different, anyways. Uh, so we can fortify the canal. Uh, make sure they can't take us from, take it back from us. Uh, that'll give us those three coastal forts. So that's definitely something we're gonna want to do. It's only 35 days, but we won't do it yet. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think that would be our best option right now just because there's so much other stuff that we need to get uh, there's a lot of things we need we really need the stability and I think we're gonna go with the planes next yeah I think we should go with the planes first also it looks like we might have got our operative back uh, but let's go with the planes because I've been waiting to do this uh, so we'll do that one first uh, and then let's take a look at what happened here so we got our got our operative back uh, so we're gonna want to go ahead and get these guys assigned uh, we could also go ahead and do uh, one of the options here, capturing the cipher, would allow us to do that quicker. I'm sure we're pretty far off on the cryptology. Uh, 1,611 days, yeah. We're pretty far off, guys. Uh, but I kind of want to get some technology from these guys. Uh, now, we've been pretty good getting the army techs, so there's probably not going to be a lot of army techs available that we actually want. Uh, we should probably instead get, like, naval techs or air force techs probably be better we can also try and capture their cipher though I wonder how well this would end up working like, let's say we we sent like our linguist here and our seducer it's pretty risky and it doesn't look like we have a high chance of doing it, it does need some equipment it's not a lot of equipment though uh, so yeah I think we're gonna try and do this let's see if we can't make this happen this will allow us to decrypt them quicker uh, so we're gonna try it out see if we can't make it happen because again it's gonna take a really long time at a current rate uh, so we'll try and do that one first and we should still have this guy getting Intel for us in Virginia so he'll uh, continue doing that while his fellows try and capture the cipher 
We'll see how well it goes. It is a risky operation. Uh, we might fail at it, but we'll see. We'll see what happens, guys. We'll see if we can't get it completed. Uh, our manpower is below 100,000, unfortunately. Yeah, and it is actually ticking down. All right, so that's a shame. Uh, but we're gonna be changing up the laws again soon. Uh, I don't think we're gonna go with the conscription laws first though I kind of want to go over to war economy uh, So we'll have more civilian factories for, for building because these forts are, are really consuming our factories and they have been consuming our factories for some time now uh, So I think it would be good to You know probably get You know as many civilian factories as we can uh, for building uh, We also have these five units down here. I did forget that we have them there So we want to go ahead and, and now get set up uh, for our whatever we're planning on doing offensive or uh, you know the, the 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 tactic to get them to Invade us. I'm just looking at how well defended their borders are We could try and shoot forward here if nobody's there. I suppose that's what we're gonna do for right now uh, Just plan that there's nobody there and then we can kind of cut them off here again You got to get to that that uh, naval base uh, But I, I think for right now we'll plan for an invasion of Texas but this will likely be changed. I do not expect they'll keep this undefended. So more than likely, we'll, we'll change this up, guys. Uh, but for right now, they can go and go up there because uh, they're not doing anything down here. We want to get them more units, too, uh, other than just five. Uh, and the Portuguese have a civil war going on. Okay, uh, so you have the king of Portugal, uh, which is not in a faction. And then, of course, you have the greater Portugal, which is now in the Axis. Which is almost ensuring that the kingdom will likely lose. And this might also result in the Spanish joining uh, the Axis as well. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, yeah, oh wait a minute, hold up. Is that resulting in us going to war with one of them? I was thinking for a minute that maybe Portugal had declared war on us at some point. But yeah, I remember them getting that uh, war goal against us. But apparently that's not, that hasn't happened. The United States has just joined the conflict uh, with the Germans, but they have not joined the conflict with us. Interesting. Hmm. Now they're not at war with anybody yet. Just the Japanese. Not entirely sure what's going on with that notification about. Let's just wait and see. Uh, and the Kingdom of Portugal actually ended up joining the Allies. Okay. Uh, I guess it makes sense since they're at war with the, the Axis. Uh, so now we are at war with the Kingdom of Portugal. No real effect there, though. Uh, we did get the infantry anti-tank weapons, so that'll help us out. Uh, we could go for the infantry equipment, so we can start building that. And I think that might be what we end up doing. We do still need more of the support companies, but we're actually doing pretty good on getting that done. Uh, we have two of them uh, being worked on right now. Could also improve our artillery. Uh, that'd be an option, too. Uh, and I'm just looking for other ones. Uh, our planes, we do want to get that. We're going to wait until we get the design company, obviously. So we won't work on that just yet. You know, let's just go ahead and get the infantry equipment, guys, so we can start getting that built. Uh, again, I know it does cost more, but I think it's worth it. Uh, again, we're trying to have any benefit that we can get. Uh, looking for other places where we could potentially cut off troops. Uh, if there's nobody defending here, uh, then we would attack uh, because we'd be able to take these mountain provinces, which would be kind of difficult for them to dislodge us from. Uh, and then we can also attack here and then cut off those troops. And I'd really like to defend up along here. That'd be nice. Because uh, here you've got mountains and river bonus. Uh, particularly in that province. It'd be very difficult for them to dislodge us from this, I think. So, and if we can get as much of control of Texas as possible. Uh, and what happened with Afghanistan? Did they never join a faction? Yeah, it looks like they never joined a faction, unlike the other uh, countries here. So that did result in them being annexed and uh, then they became puppeted. Uh, so they are now officially in the Comintern. Just looking at the, the war that's going on here between the, the Comintern and the Axis, uh, definitely a little flashpoint conflict here in the Middle East. And you see that the Soviets are losing there. Uh, we've already seen that they've lost several key uh, cities all throughout here. Uh, they're moving towards Stalingrad now. I think the Soviets are gonna def get defeated soon. And so basically what's going to end up happening is that you've got the Axis, they're going to be fighting three uh, major powers. Uh, they'll be fighting the British, the Americans, and the Japanese. And so normally this would end up being a situation that would be um, you know, really, really uh, you know, bad uh, for the Allies uh, because you know it's just the British and the Americans. But because the Japanese are also at war with them, it kind of changes the situation up quite a bit. 
Uh, but to get the integrated support, let's go and move on down to the regimental combat teams. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised at just how long it's taking for the Americans to attack us. Uh, oh, one thing I never mentioned is that the Republican Party is in charge here. Uh, FDR is not the President of the United States, so that's interesting. Uh, and we got the Engineer Company 3s, uh, so we're going to continue with these here. I suppose we'll go with the Signal Company 3s. Yeah, I suppose that's what we're going to get next. Uh, no, actually, let's go with the artillery so we can get those built. Uh, what is this about here? Uh, docking rights. Uh, we will decline that. I don't want them. I don't want them in my ports. And they don't need it, so I don't really see what they even feel the need to have docking rights for. Uh, they did win uh, the Civil War, though, so they are uh, now in full control of Portugal. And I, I would expect that the Spanish will likely join soon. I guess as soon as they lose the recovering from the Civil War, which will be in November 43, so about a year and a half. I expect that the Spanish are going to join in the Axis, and so that'll be one more power that the Allies have to deal with. So overall, they are in a bad position. No doubt about it. The United States and the British are in a bad position. But not as bad as they normally would be in such a situation. Simply because of the fact that the Japanese are also fighting the Axis. Uh, so they'll be distracted. Uh, we got the aviation workshops. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, we could go ahead and go with the... Well, we'd have to go down to, to tank workshops to be able to get the, the tank company. There's uh, some more research bonuses there, which are really nice. I almost want to go for this one for the stability. And I think that's what we're going to get. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the stability, guys. Although, we could start looking at getting the integration ones. Integrate the south. Maybe we should do that first. Yeah, let's go ahead and integrate the south first. We could also attempt to attack Cuba. And that would be a, a good option, because we could declare war on Haiti uh, first, and that would allow them to conquer Haiti. Uh, so we'd want that to happen. And then we could attempt to do a naval invasion of Cuba. Uh, so that'd be good as well. Uh, we'll eventually do that. But let's go ahead and integrate the south first. Let's get those those cores. And then we'll go after that one that gives us a bit more stability since our stability is pretty low. Uh, pretty low, guys. Uh, we can change this up. I don't know why I'm not seeing the decision here. Did I ask to not be notified of this? Yeah, because I'm, I'm not getting uh, a notification up here for when we can spend it. Uh, so that's not good. Uh, let's go and change over to war economy. That'll give us more civilian factories, uh, hopefully. Should? Uh, maybe not. Looks like we're still sitting at at 8. Maybe we didn't have 8 before. I could have swore we were doing 15 and 8, but it looks like that wasn't the case. Uh, but yeah, I thought uh, that would have generated a bit more uh, civilian factories, but it didn't. Uh, but you'd think 5%, man. What I'm thinking is I probably thought we had more factories available to us than we did. Likely probably traded some away, and I had forgotten about it. That's probably what happened. Uh, do we want to do anything with our planes right now? We got these out to the 200. Uh, how much close air support do we have in the stockpile? Do we want to go ahead and send... Yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. We got the field hospitals. Uh, let's go ahead and send another 100 to these guys. And uh, naval bombers is the other thing I want to look at. Uh, we can actually go ahead and just get another naval bomber wing. Uh, probably down here, this is a potential point for them to attack us. It's risky area. So let's go ahead and get them up to 100 here. Or maybe we should do 50 and 50, uh, so we can cover both sides. Uh, we'll, we'll split them later. Uh, for right now, this is okay. Just go ahead and get them trained up. And I think we're good for our planes for right now. And these guys are still training. We're going to go ahead and stop that. i uh, got a little bit of airspace, but not much from this. I assume I forgot to shift-click their training. Uh, so we get the Field Hospital 3s. Uh, so that'll be helpful for reducing casualty numbers. And we'll go with the uh, Signal Company 3s now. Alright, so again, the war is uh, happening a little bit later than I expected. Uh, we've had several episodes of just peace now. Um, a little bit surprised by it, but again, it's probably not a bad thing. Could wait to go for the 1943 text before we get the support artillery and stuff, but I don't think we're going to do that, guys. Let's just get the support artillery going. Uh, and we do want to change these out. And as you saw, we got to keep some of the efficiency there. And we'll likely want to get some more military factories going towards the tanks. Um, just seeing where we could potentially pull from. We need a lot of artillery to build those units out. Uh, to build more units. Uh, as we get more manpower. Which I think we'll have to change our conscription laws again. Which is fine. Uh, so we might do that next. Just seeing uh, where else we might want to uh, 
pull a factory from other than the artillery. I guess we'll pull from artillery. And we'll pull from support equipment as well. Just try and get uh, another factory into the, the tanks. And then probably another factory into planes, guys. Uh, maybe into the close air support. And get that second air wing filled out a little bit quicker. Uh, but again, I, I feel like uh, we don't quite have enough planes yet uh, to be able to really control the skies here. And once again, the Americans have pulled off of... have pulled completely out of here. That's strange. They just keep on moving their divisions. The, the AI, they get so confused. So we did lose one of our operatives. I don't know how that's going to affect that mission that we're... Oh, that's right. That's the operatives that was there. Uh, so we have to wait until this is done before we'll be able to rescue the operative because we won't have anybody here to do it. So we're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to wait, guys. Until we finish this up, I guess we can take a look and see how we're doing on this. It's 62 more days before we're able to see if we succeed. All right. It'd be really helpful if we did, though. Because uh, again, that decryption is like 1,500 or something days to get that done. Uh, so getting that 30% uh, that bonus will, will speed that up significantly. Uh, so hopefully we get that done. We do have all of our ports defended, as you guys can see here. With the exception of that one, it must be because it's a separate... That's what I'm going to guess. Uh, we need to get one more added here. And that means we'll need one more division as well. So we want to place him in there. Uh, so we'll get another division coming over here to defend the Panama Canal. Uh, that's not one we want to leave undefended. And uh, just have a total of 18 divisions there. Uh, just one division in each province, covering each port. Uh, Switzerland just joined the Allies, and uh, that has been because the Germans attacked them, so they'll be wiped out fairly soon. There are successful invasions of the Italian territory right now, uh, two successful invasions, one by the United States. Uh, well, this one could have been from anybody because it's into French territory. So that one could be Americans, could be the British. Probably the Americans, though. It does look like they're they're focusing a lot on Europe right now. So let's see what happens there. Uh, there's also... A, a, was this an invasion? No, this was across here. I was going to say, they look like the Axis might have done an invasion here, which is actually a great place to do it, because then you can, like, uh, get all the troops that might be down here. Well, not so much cut off, because they connect here in Iran. Uh, but, but, yeah, you can at least... Uh, I mean, if you worked on doing it here, too... Uh, and then you could cut them off and then cut them off here and then you got like a ton of troops that have absolutely no supply uh, So Switzerland has actually been called into the conflict with us, but they will not be around much longer uh, We actually have a naval combat uh, over here Some of our freight are these our freight convoys? No Okay, I wonder why we are being notified of this yeah, because I mean, we're not involved in it at all. And it's interesting they're notifying us of that. Uh, one thing to consider, though, is that the British were to move their their uh, ships over here. They could potentially cause us some issues and sink the few ships we have. Uh, but I don't think they're going to be able to do that. They do still have ports here, though. As you guys can see, uh, they do still have ports throughout this area. Uh, for whatever reason, none of our allies have done naval invasions of here. Uh, I suppose we could do that. Um, do a naval invasion of there? Maybe we should. Uh, with this Red Army, rather than have them here, instead use them for naval invasions. Uh, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, and kind of get them kind of, you know, they'll learn a little bit on how to do naval invasions in preparation for the invasion against the Cubans. Uh, so let's go and do that. That'll give us something to do, uh, since this war is taking a little bit longer to start than I was expecting. Uh, I thought this would have happened by now. So we'll invade from here and attack right there. And then we'll just, you know, we should probably, there are probably not very many... Uh, troops anywhere through here, so it would be best to just all attack to attack them all at the same time uh, Attack all their ports here at the same time um, Yeah, that's good. I don't know if there's any other ones that haven't been attacked. It looks like that's a no uh, So let's go and get these guys assigned uh, split up. They each go to Different areas here and suppose we can send one more to that one. I don't know who's defending any of these. If there's anybody defending him, for that matter. Uh, but you get the medium self-propelled artillery. I could get the medium tank destroyers. I don't really feel like we have the production to to justify getting those, though. Uh, our production is far too low uh, to send that many factories into that. Uh, we will go ahead and build that, and I'm going to build it now, because otherwise I will forget. 
So we'll put them down here. Uh, I don't know if we'll have any factories to pull from anywhere. I suppose we can pull from support equipment. Yeah, we'll pull from support equipment for right now just to get those started. Uh, and we do have the experience to design those as well. Uh, we do need some tungsten now. You know, it's not really worth trading for those. So we won't. Uh, we're not going to trade for the tungsten. Let's go and take a look at our, our units uh, real quick and see if uh, what we want to do with this experience. Now, uh, I would love to, to get the uh, in the field hospitals here. I think it would be good. I don't know that it's worth the, the support equipment, though, the extra support equipment. Since uh, and, and it also requires motorized. We actually have a, a stockpile of motorized, though. Uh, overall, though, it does improve them in several ways. Uh, their piercing will actually go down, though. Uh, so I almost want to do that. Let's see what other options are available. We already got these guys good to go, uh, unless we wanted to give them anti-air and anti-tanks, which we do have kind of built up. But I think what I'd prefer to do is duplicate this and then just give some divisions uh, anti-air and anti-tanks. I'd love to design a 40-width division design to go ahead and start getting those uh, out there. Uh, but yeah, we just don't have the manpower yet, nor do we really have... Well, we could we could try this out, and I'm thinking we don't have the experience to do this, but we can try. Uh, let's just take a look and see if it'll let us. So we need to get quite a few infantry. Uh, we need to get more artillery out there as well. Yeah, it does look like we're going to be short. Uh, we're able to get them the full combat with here. Uh, and then we can do anti-tanks and anti-air. Yeah, it would be a little bit more experience than we currently have right now. Uh, but technically we could just pull one of these guys out and then just slowly uh, improve them and then get uh, some of them built out there. Uh, so that'd be one option. Just looking at other options, I'd really like to get the tanks designed. Uh, so maybe we should do that. We won't be able to get them any of their stuff yet. We could start building them. You know what? We don't have it stockpiled yet. It'd probably be better to just wait and instead start with the 40 widths. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and design a 40 width. And then we'll, we'll slowly kind of move units over to it. And then we'll just use any experience that we get to improve this division design. So we'll start with the artillery, since we have some artillery stockpiled. And then we'll do the uh, anti-tank and anti-air. And do we want to do two of each or just one of each? Or three anti-air and one anti-tank? You know what, we'll do, we'll do two and two. All right, so we've got those. Uh, how much experience we got left? Just a little bit here uh, to add another infantry battalion. Gets us up to 32 combat widths, so still got to make some improvements. Mainly infantry, though. Uh, we just basically need to add four more infantry battalions here. As far as the situation here, I think we'll likely change the support artillery out for, uh, you know, the, not the maintenance companies, uh, the supply ones. Uh, I think that's what we'll end up doing. Yeah, let's go ahead and save this. Obviously, we don't have the experience to do that just yet. Uh, we were supposed to duplicate that. My bad, guys. I'll have to redo this. All right, so we need some name suggestions for these. I I've got a lot of name suggestions from, I think it was that episode two, uh, and I can look back at that. Uh, or you can feel free to, to post any new suggestions or repost your suggestions if you already posted them on episode two. Uh, but I can look back at that one and... Uh, and name them. For right now, they're just going to be 40s, uh, and, and then I'll, I'll name them next episode. Uh, so let's go and save that. And uh, we'll go ahead and build one. We'll get them training now. Uh, I was going to change some of them out. Uh, but for right now, let's just build. Uh, we'll just build a new one. Uh, since they're not even finished yet, so I don't really want them on the front line yet. So now we'll just build one 40 width division. And uh, that's it. That's it for now. And we do have the research slot that I forget about that we did just get. Uh, so we just finished up. I think that was uh, the artillery, the self propelled artillery that we built there. Uh, we want to get the, uh, the logistic company. This is what I meant to say. Not the supply company, the uh, logistic company. Uh, we need to get that done uh, so that we can put those into those big divisions. Uh, but that's... Yeah, I don't know that we want to focus on that just yet. Let me see if there's any other like passive bonuses that we can get uh, that we might want to get. Uh, we could start with the air doctrines. Uh, we'd have research bonuses for that. Uh, so we could start on that. Anything to kind of help us out in the air would be useful. Uh, but you know what? Let's go ahead and get the last sub support company that we need. Uh, I don't know that we'll get maintenance companies. I like to have them in our tanks, uh, in the medium tanks. I think it'd be really helpful to have them in the medium tanks. Uh, but I don't think we'll get them just yet. So let's see what happened here. Uh, so they lost four light cruisers, five destroyers, and a submarine for the, the British. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why we were not notified of this. Uh, because we had convoys involved. Okay, I see now. 
one of our convoys was here trading with the the Germans okay well we don't want to escort them they'll just get destroyed we have a lot of convoys uh, so not worried about it we might need to make an adjustment though and change uh, where we go I assume we'd want to avoid this area no matter what actually uh, Switzerland did capitulate but yeah we'll probably want to avoid the English Channel uh, it's a prime place to have your your convoy sunk so we'll have them avoid the English Channel and they can go around uh, there's a lot of different ports we can go to so we'll just make adjustments as we need to uh, so these guys how long until they're gonna be ready just take a look here we don't have supremacy but of course we can put our ships out there so that's not a problem uh, let's just stop them from training and we'll put them out there briefly just to get the supremacy to do the invasion uh, but as far as like days yeah, just 14 days total, so two days left. That's it. Uh, we can deploy these guys, uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, they're done training. And do we want more? No, we can't train more. All right, so we're going to get the mountain troops placed into again into this purple army here, and then we'll just pull one of these divisions out here. Yeah, we'll just pull one of them out. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one. We'll just take one that's in a mountain province where we'd like this guy to go. I suppose right here. Pull this guy out. And put them on to. Do you want to put them on that front? We could do that. We could also put them in the Red Army for further invasions. I suppose we'll do that. Uh, so we'll have a total of six units in that Red Army. And then let's go and get the mountain troop that is here and get him moving on over to there. Alright, excellent. It's so looking good. Looking good, guys. Uh, again, we're ready for this conflict whenever the Americans want to make it happen. Uh, again, we could attack them by getting that Warkle, and maybe we will, uh, but at the very least we should probably deal with Cuba, uh, and then also if we want any other countries into the faction, maybe we should do that first too. Uh, the next thing we're doing with our political power is going to be changing up the conscription laws. Uh, just need to get, I don't even think we're going to wait for this, this one dude here. Yeah, I don't see any reason to wait. Uh, so we just need to get these ships here. Stop them from training, and then get them doing... Oops. You don't really want them to attack any, anywhere. Uh, we don't want them to attack any ships. We'll do patrol, uh, but yeah, honestly, we don't really want them attacking anybody. Uh, any ships. I don't think there's any British ships through this area, though. It doesn't look like it. Uh, we did get to integrate the south, which is, again, going to give us those decisions. We'll start doing those decisions uh, once we've changed the manpower laws up again, because we, we need more manpower, guys. So let's see what we want to do next. Again, we got a lot of uh, really good options available. We could do the Liberate the, the Caribbean so that we can attack Cuba next. But I think we should do the pur Purge the uh, Bureaucracy first. I think that would be better. Uh, this is uh, three military factories here. That would be helpful to have. Uh, yeah, let's go and do the, the Purge the Bureaucracy for that increased stability. And also gives us a new general. He might end up being pretty good. Uh, Jose Gonzalo Escobar. And then he's also a military high command who's pretty damn good. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get him or get that uh, that focus done. Uh, we'll take the non-aggression pact with the Portuguese, and let's take a look at these decisions real quick. And uh, this will probably be the last thing we do in today's episode. Uh, where is the decisions? I was thinking they'd be down here at the bottom. Apparently not. It must be up here somewhere. Here we go. So it's 50 political power, not 25. My bad. Uh, it's 50, and this allows us to core. All that territory and how long does it take it takes two months so yeah quite some time to get all this territory cord interesting all right well uh, yeah we'll, we'll start doing those uh, as soon as we finish up with here changing up our conscription oh and we have to get the aircraft designer I forgot about that as well uh, so we have to get that too uh, so we'll change up our manpower then we'll get the, the aircraft designer, and then we'll start taking those decisions. So frankly, it's going to take a while, guys, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, and we're just not earning very much either because of our, uh, our low stability is having an effect there. And we don't have any modifiers really increasing the amount of political power we have. Because again, we didn't have any advisors there to really do that with. And as far as uh, political advisors, uh, again, this is typically where you get that political power, but that, we can't get it here. So that's really unfortunate. That's why we've been generating a lot less political power than you typically would. As far as who we'll get on the political advisors, because a lot of these guys are not going to be available to us because we can't get those focuses. Uh, they're for different routes. Uh, the only choice, I think, is Elusive Gentleman. And it's just funny because I thought we ended up getting rid of this guy eventually. But yeah, it looks like we'll have him for the rest of the, the campaign because there's nobody else available. Uh, so yeah, Elusive Gentleman will be what we get there. Not really a priority uh, right now. 
Uh, but I do want to take a look at, you know, who all we'll have available there. As far as military high command, uh, again, we, we already know where we're going here. Probably the division recovery rate and then the cab uh, guy, the Escobar, because uh, he does increase motorized and mechanized attack and defense significantly. Uh, so that's what we'll be going with those ones. And then we already kind of know with, with the Air Force that we'll be going with air superiority and, and with the Navy, which will be nothing that we get anytime soon, would be the decisive battle more than likely. Yeah. Uh, so that's the, the plan in regards to our advisors. Now, we made a little less than a year here in this episode, but yeah, no no war with the American jet, man. I'm surprised. This has been quite peaceful, guys. Uh, quite peaceful indeed. Um, I, I did want to, to do this invasion I think we just go ahead and send them now. Yeah, go ahead and send these guys and get these islands taken from the British so we don't have to worry about their ships coming here any longer. Uh, so yeah, that's what we'll do. Get those three islands taken. I don't think we'll defend them though. Uh, if the Americans want to invade them, I'll just let them. Uh, I don't see any point on, on defending this territory. I mean, unless we could fortify them, uh, again, which we, we probably wouldn't be able to. If we could fortify them and then result in, you know, this this would result in them taking much higher casualties attempting to take it. And I suppose in that case, it would be worth it because uh, you're you're causing severe casualties to the to the Americans. Uh, but I don't think we'd be able to stop them from taking it, guys. We'd have to have very high level coastal forts. So I just don't think it's worth it. Not when we have so many other things we need to be doing uh, and to be building with our factories, uh, which we almost have this fortification line all the way up to level five now. That's awesome. Uh, so doing pretty good on there. We need more military factory zone. I think that's what we're going to work on next. Uh, but that is actually going to be the end of today's episode. Because again, it's unfortunately had to be a shorter episode today. Uh, but we're still not at war with the Americans. I went into this episode really expecting the war to start. Uh, but for whatever reason, they haven't been pulled into conflict. I think they're just refusing. I, I, I know that the Allies have requested that they come in by now. And I think they're just refusing to come in. Uh, for whatever reason, more than likely... You know, I really don't know. Maybe they just look at it as they're not ready uh, to join this conflict. I'm not entirely sure uh, why they haven't uh, joined yet. Uh, but any moment, uh, they could end up joining into the conflict, and we need to be prepared for that. As far as what we can do in the meantime, uh, I think a war against Cuba would be something fun to do uh, while we wait for this to happen. Uh, and, you know, we already have a lot of countries we still need to pull into the faction, and that costs political power, so uh, declaring war will not cost political power. Uh, well, we'd need to get that focus, of course, or justify a war goal. How much would that cost? Two political power in 10 days to justify a war goal. So, yeah, I think that's the way we'll end up going, and then we'll uh, invade Cuba. Uh, we will need more troops, though. Uh, so, we could pull divisions off of this this green army here or something like that. So I'm not entirely sure how we'll do it, but we'll definitely need more divisions if we're going to invade Cuba. Uh, you know, six will not be enough. We already know that they have uh, a lot more divisions than that. Uh, but I do hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, even if we didn't have any conflict, unfortunately. Uh, if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. do hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.